Martinez. I'm the co-founder and CEO at Avacum. Avacum is the FP&A automation platform that enables finance teams to drive efficient growth. So that means that we work with finance teams to upgrade their financial planning and analysis capabilities. So we empower them with faster forecasting or running costs more tightly or doing a scenario planning so that the company makes better decisions. I've been in finance forever. So this is basically the, 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 the short line. I started my career in investment banking. I went to, the, to do an MBA. This is where I met actually my co-founder and this is around 13, 14 years ago. Then I went on into banking again and uh, investment banking. I spent time here in New York, Sao Paulo, Zurich, London. So I had you know, a, a great experience. I was given the awesome opportunity to transition into technology. I was covering software sometimes, and you know that, that was a fantastic experience, but not really building products. And then I spent four years building fintech products from scratch and launching them to market. Actually, we sold two of them, so I was leading a very ambitious uh, fintech initiative, and this is what placed me at the core of technology. Hey, I got it wrong many times, and I've, I've been uh, neglectful sometimes, and. Uh, but over time, and you know, I have more great hair than um, than I would like to have. Probably I've learned a few lessons, and now I think I'm prioritizing better. So what do, what comes top of mind is always spending quality time with the family. So I try to protect evenings and have dinner with them. You know, I got way better during weekends. And then during the rest of my priorities, how I think is about it is what allows me to be peak performance. As a founder with Avacom, we were born during COVID, right? So COVID uh, burst, and then one week later, uh, when we were in lockdown and into you know, confined in our homes with, with the families, we actually launched the company. So I think that from an early beginning in the company, we went into and through uh, a tough period, uh, very extenuating, where, you know, imagine, right? So you barely have a PowerPoint, you are supposed to raise uh, your early funding round. You have to hire your early team. So, and this is back in the day when Zoom was not so common, right? So VCs were not so open to um, invest in companies without seeing founders face to face. The first criteria that I always think about is high conviction. I need to see that spark in their eyes uh, because any startup is a journey up and to the right. I think the key point is to hire the right leadership here. So if you bring on board the right leadership team, the right leaders in your organization at any position, BP, C level, then one of the key conditions for them to be that great is that they are able to be a talent magnet. A first starting point would be to accept current market conditions and uh, understand that holding on your previous valuations might not be very smart today. So I think that it's an inner journey to accept reality as it is today and, and come to terms. My biggest mistake has been, you know, not letting people go fast enough. And I, I know that's a classic and many founders, I've heard them in the past saying that, and then I think, oh, you know, that's such a classic, but then you find yourself making the same mistake, unfortunately. And, and I think we oftentimes are not able to identify um, the situation early enough and actually be bold enough to, to make that fast decision. Mm -hmm.